Hi guys, so today I have for you my wish list, well my current wish list. I've got a lot more mainstreams on my wish list than I thought I would have. I thought it would all be indies, but um, recently I've been swaying more towards mainstreams for some reason. Um, so first of all I'll go through with you which indies I quite like the look of, and then we'll do the mainstreams after that. So um, one polish that I've been looking for for a while, uh, when I ordered it, it was out of stock and haven't seen it since. It's pretty serious, Baron Bond be Beautiful. <laughs> it's a, a bit of a tongue twister. Um, I pitched a picture from peachypolish.com. Um, I really like this polish. Um, it's quite an unusual colour, I feel. But like I said, I haven't been able to get that one when I ordered it. It was out of stock, unfortunately. Um, the next one is Star Child by Cirque. And the photo is one I found on Pinterest. Um, I'm not sure who this one was by, um, but this is such a pretty polish. I've had this one wrote down for a while, um, but again, it'll be one when I see it. Um, you know, perhaps I'll pick it up. Um, uh, one that I want that I saw a while ago was Monica by Native War Paints, which was from the Friends collection, and um, yeah, I'm still looking for this one. So, if anyone's de-stashing it, let me know. Um, and the next one is Pheromone by Super Chick Lacquer. This one I've again another one that I like since I saw it. I don't. It's available, so I don't know why I don't pick them up. Um, I think sometimes I get a bit stingy and think, oh, the price, you know. Um, but so that one, perhaps I'll treat myself to that one shortly. Um, I there's collection wise, I really like all the ice cream nail ones. Um, so. At some point I will be getting a few more of those um, as well as I mean I've I've wrote down the one pretty serious but in general they bring out a lot of polishes that I really like so in those couple of brands sort of my wish list would be too long so I'm just gonna say all of them uh, so then we have my mainstreams um, I've got the pictures on my phone so I can refer to them so the first one up is Zoya's Autumn. Um, this picture is by the Polishaholic. Um, oh, sorry, I forgot to say uh, Monica's picture was from Got Nail, and the Super Chick Lacquer was from Live Love Polish. Um, but again, this, so this one was Autumn by Zoya, and um, I just I like these bronzy sort of colours. Um, I haven't I've only got one Zoya still. So I've got quite a list of Zoyas to go through here for when I do eventually buy some. Um, the next one is Saint, and this picture was from Kelly Gonzo. This is just a really nice colour that sort of shouted out to me. Um, I, I like my blues and purples. Um, then we've got Payton, um, which is a pretty purple, and the picture was from Pointless Calf. Um, next up is Leslie. Now I'm not usually a pink person, but I feel this one sways to the sort of lilac-y purple side. Um, this picture was from All Lacquered Up. Then we have, now is it Rain or Rainy? R-A-Y-N-E. Um, the Mer Mer Mercurial Magpie this picture was from. Uh, just another pretty type of shade that I go for. Um, and finally we have Daisy. I do like a good yellow polish and this one to me looks really pretty. Uh, this was a peachypolish.com picture. So those are all ones that I've just seen about and quite like the look of and I've just noted them down. Sometimes I write them down and when I look back I think, oh god, I don't actually like that one now. But these ones are on my current list. So then we've got Butter London Two Fingered Salute. Uh, th this was a pointlesscalf.com picture. Um, I think I saw this one on Nail Polish Baby 90s channel, possibly. And the next one, which is Lily Betts Jubilee. Uh, this was the pictures from the Polishaholic. Um, this one's, well, you know, I like my metallics and things. So this one was, a, yeah, definitely, definitely one that I want. Um, Sorry, those are both Butter London. Okay, then we've got China Glaze, Don't Let the Dead Bite. This is definitely one that I'd like, especially for Halloween. Um, it was a kellygonzo.com picture again. 
Um, then we've got China Glaze Electrify. I'm not, this one, um, I'm not even sure. Some of these I can't remember where I saw them, but as I see polishes, I tend to write it down. Um, and then when I go back through, sometimes some I think, oh, actually no, but then there are some that still stand out to me. And this one I just quite like the look of, this gold and red glitter. Um, oh, and this picture, that picture, sorry, was my latest obsession.com. Then we've got Essie Miss Is Always Right. I wasn't 100% sure about this one because it's not the sort of colour that I'd usually go for. But um, I did see it recently, but it was in a set with some others and I didn't really want the others. So I didn't buy the set. But um, this picture was by Lacquered Bits. I can't find it now on my phone. There we go. Um, so yeah, so that one, I think I probably would like to try that one. Then we've got OPI My Private Jet. Um, speaks for itself, I think. <laughs> this picture was addicted to polish.blogspot. Um, OPI, you're such a Budapest. I've heard so many people talk about this one, and I do quite like this one. Um, this was the daily varnish picture that I used. And finally, the last one on my list at the moment is Barry M Blue Jade. Now, this was put on very recently because somebody said it's a dupe for Less Is Norse by OPI. This picture was from Brit Nails. Um, so next time I'm looking through the Barry M stands, I will be looking for this one. I'm hoping they still do it. I haven't checked yet. Um, so yeah, so that's my, my current wish list. I'd love to know what polishes you, you lust after. Um, I'm never sure why, it, you know, it's I go shopping and it would be easier, I suppose, to look at my wish list and just buy those, but I end up buying others for some reason. I, I don't know, do you find you do this? Maybe it's just a thing. But um, I'm sure by the end of this year that wish list will be quite big because as I'm watching things, I'm always writing them down. Um, so it's... I think everything I watch is a bad influence, really. Uh, but yeah, so thanks for watching that one, guys. I hope it was quite interesting for you. And I will see you next time. Bye.